What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're in the car. I just feel like sometimes it gets a little boring in the basement, the same background, the same intro and outro. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. Today we're gonna be making Ali Go, Ali Got, Ali something, I don't know. But guys, this video has been suggested countless times. The video on Tasty where Andrew tries to recreate it is one of my favorite videos of all time. They're hilarious. So I just have to quickly go grab a few simple ingredients. Um, you guys won't mind if I run a couple errands first though, right? Oh boy. What the hell? Can I just have a grande hot caramel latte, please? That's it. Okay. I love filming in grocery stores. It's just my favorite thing to do. I'm definitely gonna need some of these guys and some of this. I'm just hoping no one's staring at me as I film myself grocery shopping. Now, where is the Swiss? Uh, down here, hiding in the bottom corner. Let me just grab this guy, and with that, I think we got everything we're gonna need. Step number one is to tend to our potatoes. You're gonna need one and a half pounds in total of this, but I didn't even bother um, measuring until after I peeled all these guys and cut them into quarters. I guesstimated that it would probably be between six and seven potatoes. I really tried hard to cut all these the same size, so that they would all have the same cooking time and I just grabbed my scale and I was pretty close to perfect with the 1.5 pounds. You're gonna wanna throw those into a pot on the stove along with two full cloves of garlic and then just cover that with five cups of cool water. You're gonna wanna let this mix get to a boil and then once it does that, reduce the heat and let it simmer off for about 20 minutes. But while that's cooking up, we're gonna jump to the cheese. I don't think I'm gonna need all three blocks of this. Um, so I started chopping it up and shredding. I ended up using just shy of two blocks in total, which came out to just a little bit over two and a half cups of cheese, which is what we need. So moving right along. Once I thought my potatoes were done, I grabbed them off of the stove, strained them in a colander, and the most annoying part of this entire video, smushing them through all these little tiny holes in this strainer. I hope you've got your forearm muscles ready, folks, because this was one hell of a workout. It took me a solid 15 minutes. As I got to the end, I also realized I don't know if I was supposed to take the garlic cloves out or not, but they are now in there with the potatoes. I did also put these in a larger pot because this is what we're gonna eventually add all of our ingredients to. So I chucked the stove back on to medium heat. I added in one clove of minced up garlic and a whole stick or a half cup of salted butter. Every time I think we reached peak unhealthiness on an episode, we get a video with mashed potatoes, a whole stick of butter, and a full cup of heavy cream. Ain't nobody said that this channel was health conscious. If you wanna see that, go to, I don't even know, who's a healthy food channel? So once I had my potatoes and the milk and the butter all incorporated, your final ingredient today is the cheese. I added this in in intervals of four, a handful at a time, mix it in, let it melt down completely, add a little bit more in, you kind of get the picture and I was very nervous because it did not seem to be working as I was hoping, but thankfully, sooner or later, all that cheese melted down and boys and girls, I think we might have a success. We have made it to the promised land. Oh my God. Truthfully, I did not think I would get here on my very first try. I thought it'd take me at least two or three more tries. I don't think you can get any more perfect to the video that they were trying to recreate. Look at that, almost hit my ceiling. I'm tempted to just shovel it into my mouth right now. Will that be gross? I'll get a bowl. Did I say bowl? I meant clear plastic cup because that's all I can find. Oh, I can't even get it in there. There we go. This looks like a white slime from Nickelodeon like 10 years ago. I am so excited. I love cheese, I love mashed potatoes. I smell the garlic very strongly. Oh man. 
That's really good. You really have to kind of love garlic in order to enjoy this, but I do, so it works. The texture is like the most light marshmallow fluff. It's, it's so weird, which is odd because there's a ton of heavy cream and butter in it, but damn, I'm impressed. Definitely just don't eat this before a date because I can smell the garlic coming off my breath right now. That is so good though, 9.8 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed today's BuzzFeed test. If you did, leave me a big like. There's about a 50% chance of a brand new video on Sunday. Don't hold me to it, I'm gonna try my best. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what you wanna see me do next. Other than that, have an awesome weekend and I'll see you right back here next time. Peace!